I'm at the Jacktown show, uh, show here with uh, Mike and uh, another one of my buddies, Mike, over here. Say, Mike. Hey, how we doing? He brought this uh, engine, in, and this is an extremely rare engine. I've never seen one before. I'm pretty sure it's a Buddha, and I think there's an English version. I'm not sure what that's called, but I'm going to ask Mike, and he's going to explain a little bit about it. Tell, let me know exactly. What, what is this thing exactly, Mike? It's a late 1920s Buddha rail car engine. So the rail car work car is called a speeder. And you had Fairmonts and you had Buddha. So Buddha wasn't the popular one, but it's very unique because it's a four stroke boxer style engine. I liked it because you can see everything. You got your tappets, your valves, you can see them going up and down. Um, it's just unique, you know, old gas tank, magneto. Nice job with this. It's got a nice crank on it. I, like I said, I just loved it here. Um, it's a friction drive, so if you think about a lot of things have belts or right. gears, when you come on the back here, you got this friction plate. This big plate, yeah. And, and I don't have a drive, but pretend this is the axle and this is the friction pulley. As you move it in and out, you speed up or slow down, or you go this side and you change direction. Hmm. Almost like a clutch on a car. Kind of. Uh, you know, back in the day, there were some farm tracks that had friction drives. They wouldn't pass much torque, but you could definitely change speeds and make them infinitely bearable. <coughs> the other thing about this old engine, you can tell it's old, is the spark plugs are half-inch pipe thread. Oh, so, yeah. So there's no yeah. compression gasket. It's a tapered right, tapered right. pipe. Right, right. plug. All right, show me how you start, buddy. Okay. Custom crank. Usually it starts first time. Got to remember open the kill switch and off we go. All right, go ahead. You got a nice paint job on it. Somebody must have put that on one time, huh? It was pinstripe, all painted up, ready to go. Pretty cool. On a, an oak base. It's, it's a real nice looking piece. I've never seen one like it in the show. I've, I've never seen, seen another one either. What, what is the English version? What do you call that? The Sheffield or something? Sheffield. Yeah. Well, I've seen pictures on the website of Sheffield, and the engine looks like that, but I'm told that Buddha is actually the one that did the engine, and someone the English, the English, the English, uh, English version. They stole it. They stole it off the Americans. Depends on the load, right? You think about it, the guy's sitting there operating it, so it's like an old car, you have to do the timing and the throttle, the right. coordination. Talk about cool. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thank you. All right. Of course, I've got those on the starting, but yeah. oh well. Show them how you start when it's cold. You gonna blend that back in? No, I'll just put it in there now. Okay. I don't know if you guys seen it, but up here are uh, primer bowls, and when they when this when the engine's first called, he's been running this all day, so he didn't he didn't have to prime it, but. Uh, that's actually how you prime it, and he's got a yeah. flask here. If you think about it, when an engine's cold, you normally put the choke on. Right. This doesn't have any choke. But let me see that flask, because that's, that's pretty unique in itself. The Russians come up with this for cleaning their guns. One side would be oil, and the other side would be solvent. And they're just cute little things with a divider in the middle. So, you know, you give it a little bit of this, prime up the cup, and you take a little take bit a of shot. this. Take a shot. Yep. You're ready to go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Put this one, one little flask to last you all day. And it all takes just, just enough for a spark. Just a little sip, as they say. Start up again real fast, and then we'll call, call it a game. 
Let the gas. A lot of you, a lot of you gun owners will know what that flask is, but most people won't. Switch on. That's important. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Broken. Make it switch open, Mike. There we go, he's got it on real low idle. He just chug along. Pretty cool. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that one. See you later.